Tonight, we have the latest developments on the water main that ruptured near the UCLA campus, which left many drivers stranded and parts of the campus flooded. We have Herbert live on the scene with details. Thanks, Diane. It has been a headache for everyone locally, including DWP, who say leaking from nearby valves are preventing them from making necessary repairs. Uh, normally, a break of this size, we would just go in and cut out a section of pipe and replace it real quick. But this is located where two pipes, large diameter pipes, come together and it's creating a lot of complexity for us. They say they are looking at an extended period of time before the repairs can be made. The flooding has caused substantial damages to six facilities, including two underground parking structures. But most of the campus remains open, except for all UCLA camp activities and all campus recreation activities, which have been stopped. A total of 739 cars were in the parking structure, and officials estimate 300 of them were completely submerged. Poly Pavilion, one of the facilities severely damaged, was covered in about 8 to 10 inches of water. Cleanup crews have worked through the night to remove the water, and it is in the drying process now. Unfortunately, the court is showing signs of buckling and expansion. Officials say they are unsure if they will be able to save it, but will make it a top priority to restore it if they can't. School officials also say they have been proactive in reaching out to the owners of cars through various websites. However, some of the students we spoke to wish the updates would have been more frequent than they were. Uh, I wish it was just a little bit more updating about what the status of the car was because my wife was freaking out for the last few days, but everything is good. Sunset remains closed tonight between Veteran and Beverly Glen with limited access. Reporting from Westwood, back to you.